Liam, great afternoon. It's finished Southport 4, Bradford 1 and uh, no complaints about that, is there? No, we've got, I, I thought we were, first half, I thought we were strong. Um, got lots of ball in the box. It, it helps when Jack Bainbridge hits a world in like <laughs> that for 25 minutes, uh, 25, well, 25 yards after a couple of minutes, uh, really. And, and to be honest, you've got to give Bradford credit because he actually dug in and stayed mm. stuck in the game, st stayed in the game when you know we've hit the bar from a set play, well worked set play, and then we've had another one. Jordan's had a couple of great chances. Yeah. I said, but they were zogged, and you know you can see, you know they're playing for the manager, and you know they're working the socks off, and and they did. They could have actually crumbled, but mm. they didn't. So you know, fair play to them. And then the second game, I know they've got a goal just on half time. Which is poor for most, but you know, good from them. Mm -hmm. uh, and then they've had periods in the second half where you, you're thinking you don't want these Another to get a second one, one. Know, you? and you're wobbling. I said so. The four-one, the balance of play. What well, is it a fair reflection? Probably. I yeah. said. Looking at the number of chances we had, Liam, it was it was quite outstanding, really, wasn't it? Yeah, but as you said, but the, you know, they were game. They, they were at, you know the bottom of the league. I don't think they'll. I don't think they'll finish bottom of the league. Mm -hmm. uh, definitely don't finish. Boom. But you know they dug in, they had a go, and we kept on having a go. So you know it was a good game, probably a really good game for the yeah. neutral. We were dominant in that first half of the number of chances we had there. And you must must be pleased that we are creating the chances now, aren't we? Yeah, I said if you look at the if you look at the team, I said the other day, two centre halves are both capable of scoring, and mm. they have done. Uh, Keenan has chipped in with the goal the other week. Yeah. Charlie Edwards takes the pens. Josh and Jack have got goals in them. Tyler and Niall, they're either scoring or making. And nice Jordan got on the score sheet. Uh, that was important. Marcus should have gone on the score sheet. He, he did everything he could, the run, yeah. the chop, and put it in, and then the fullback gets it off the line. How he's got it off the line, I don't know. But you know, fair play to him. But you know, but I said it's funny because at times our front two put the opposition's back four under so much mm. pressure, and because they always ask questions about them. And I said you're not singling them out because all over the pitch we were strong. Yeah. I said, but when them two were at it. You don't want to play against them, no. and today they were at it. We said that last season, didn't we? When yeah, they were firing yeah. then, and they do. It's and it isn't a one; it's a two. Mm -hmm. They've got a great partnership together, um, and the wide players and the attacking midfielders. They must be. They know they're going to get chances. So, but yeah, as I said, it's one more one game. You know, not going overboard like it didn't go overboard when you know we, we were struggling. Uh, but you see the difference of bringing your six or seven missing players back in the team. And I said, what we've got on the size and I'm on the pitch, and we're going to the dugout. Well, it's now looking competitive. I think we always said that, didn't we, Liam? When, you know, when things were going against us a little bit, once we got everybody back, we always felt we we're going to be okay, didn't we? Listen, if you understand football, you can actually, you know, where we are, uh, what we've got in terms of the squad and the, and the quality, and even even now the depth. You know, well, Jack Doyle wasn't on the in the 16 because he's injured. Chris Doyle's got an infected um, wisdom, wisdom too. So Adam has obviously been able to drop back in. Got competition all over the place, mm -hmm. uh, which is what we need to actually really push ourselves. And you know we're actively trying to bring another body in. Yeah, we were saying before the game, Niall won the Player of the Month, and he, he's on fire, isn't he? I know it must be awkward sometimes talking about your son in, in glowing terms, but everyone is noticing Niall is just playing out of his skin at the moment. Well, as I said, the wingers' jobs are. I, I don't think he was at his best today, mm -hmm. but he's made two goals, mm -hmm. so he's got two assists. Um, probably thought he should have mixed his game up a little bit more, but he, he's asking questions of the full backs who he's coming up against, and his pace is outstanding. Mm -hmm. So if he keeps doing the right things, using his pace in the right areas, going outside at the right times, you know, he keeps on chipping on the score sheet, and you know the big one as well, Tyler. Yeah. You know the big thing what we said, got to find his right position. Mm -hmm. And then he's got to add stats, which is making goals, scoring goals. So again, he's got another goal today, which is great. Yeah. We've got a week off now, another week to train and do all the things we need to do, and then Gloucester next week. Yeah, I don't know, they've just, they've just lost in the FA Cup. Yeah. Changed the manager. It's been a week for managers, hasn't it? Yeah, well, as you said, sometimes I might be saying this because I'm, you know, I'm a manager, but I'm also on the board. Mm. So when you look at situations, you've got to ask questions, you've got to see. A lot of it is strange decisions mm. strange decisions are, are they for the benefit of the football club or are they the benefit of the the person who wants to make a change yeah that's a, i'd ask the question on that so yeah. i think there's a few a couple well a couple of managers would be looking going i don't get this mm. but that's the nature of the job
Jeez, isn't it? Well, well done today, and it's given everybody another lift. We always like the wins. Yeah, thanks, Tom. Thanks, Liam. Now, firstly, congratulations on winning the Player of the Month award. Just hold it up again for everyone to see that you got it. Well done. <laughs> well deserved. You must have been pleased with your current form. Yeah, I was delighted, to be fair. Um, I think the likes last season was a bit hit and miss. I was a bit out in and out the team. Uh, and this year, I've just tried to hit the ground running, and I'm delighted I've got a few goals. and a few assists, so hopefully I can keep doing it. I think you got the most assists last season, didn't you? But you're really chipping in with them this season, so <laughs> yeah. it, it, it's going really well at the moment, isn't well, it? Well, I'm getting, me and Tyler, both uh, wingers are getting harder get, when you get the ball, cross it in, and you know, we know, we can see now how we're playing, and you know, I made up that it's actually working and it's getting it's paying all off, and, and yeah, delighted with the win again today, yeah. especially. You had a fantastic pre-season, then got the injury, unfortunately, didn't you? Are you, you feel fully fit, fully back to fitness now? Yeah, I feel great now. And uh, that put me back a bit. I was a bit, I was got to that, you know, a few weeks out. But I said, uh, it's football. It happens. It's all about how you can get back into the team. So. I mean, I've just tried to work as hard as I can, do you know what I mean? So, you know, I'm delighted it's pulling all off now. Yeah, it's the hard work is paying off though, because I, I was saying before, I think you're playing the best you've played for Southport since you've been here, would you agree? Uh, yeah, I think so. I think it's just the confidence. I think once yeah. that, fair, that player, the player gets the goal, first goal, the confidence is just running through and then you, sometimes it, it's hard to actually come off the pitch without scoring at times. Yeah. You kind of feel like you're just going to get it, all assists and stuff, so... But yeah, I don't know, I'm made up at the minute, yeah. How good is it have the two big lads up front though? They must give you a bit of a lift when you see them getting on the end of it. Well, yeah, playing with Archer, I mean, he's just, you know, obviously you get the ball in the box, he'll do stuff like he's done today. And the likes of Carver, obviously we missed him a lot when he left last season. Yeah. Uh, but as I said, I think it's his presence when he's here. And do you think he has given everybody a lift bringing him back? Yeah, definitely. I think it just helps everyone. And as I said, he's in terms of holding the ball up and getting it down and passing it and stuff like that, it's, he's really good at it. And, he actually calms us down a bit, especially yeah. in the final third. So, but no, yeah, it's uh, it's good playing up front with them, and you know they've got a good partnership, and the likes of me and Tyler, you know, we get quite a lot of joy with them getting it down, getting it out wide. So, no, it's good. Yeah, well, it's a great win today, and we've got another. Well, we've got an away game next week, haven't we? So it's a bit of a tough one at Gloucester, but yeah. on that plastic pitch. I know, yeah, but as I said, some of these lads have been growing up playing on it. So, yeah. and, and as I said, we train on it twice a week. So there's no excuses. We just got to get the ball down and play like we have been. And, Hopefully we can get a result then. Great. Well, well done on the award. Thank you for today. All right, thank you. Cheers.